Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to the second of the five-part webinar series, Get to Know Microsoft Dynamics CRM Online. I am Prashant Rao, Marketing Manager from Computer Solutions East. Along with me is Ian, um, Ian Smith, uh, owner and president of Syncretic Solutions. Today's webinar is really special to me. Uh, as a marketing manager, I'm always worried about three things. Number one, being consistent and quick in marketing. If you have to send weekly newsletters, monthly offers, or even respond to an inquiry, marketing is all about consistency and speed. Number two, ability to track the progress of a marketing campaign. And number three, the real reason we actually do marketing campaigns is to generate leads and revenue out of marketing campaigns. So uh, these are the three most important things that I'm worried about when I, you know, being a marketing manager. I'm pretty sure all our friends uh, that deal with marketing for their organizations uh, would relate to what I'm saying. Our objective for this webinar series is making your business more productive using Microsoft Dynamics CRM and bring more value to your customers. I will now give the floor to Ian who would explain how Click Dimensions, a marketing tool on Microsoft Dynamics CRM, makes marketing work for your business. Ian, over to you. Thank you, Prashant, and thank you, everybody, for joining us today. It's, uh, it's a beautiful day uh, where I am in the Philadelphia area. Uh, Prashant's uh, company, uh, Computer Solutions East, is in the New York area, so that's uh, the two companies that are jointly uh, producing and presenting this uh, webinar for you today in this five-part webinar series of Getting to Know CRM Online. Um, we look at Microsoft Dynamics CRM as the center of your digital strategy. Historically, CRM has been known for its three main modules of sales, marketing, and customer service. If you're familiar with CRM, you're familiar with the uh, accounts, contacts, leads, and opportunity entities, and also customer service cases for the uh, customer service module. For marketing, we have campaigns, marketing lists, campaign activities, and as the center of your digital strategy, you might need more than that. Microsoft Dynamics CRM offers numerous other entities and also the ability to create your own entity relationships. That's why it can be XRM, it can be anything relationship management. The CRM is a complete platform for process development, operational capabilities. It includes features and functionality that you're just not going to get with any other CRM system. The, the capabilities include mobility, security, search, analytics. It's, it's getting new stuff all the time. Recently, uh, Microsoft added portal capabilities so that customers or partners can log into your CRM system through a web portal and, and provide a means to access the information, enter new cases, for example. It's an all-in-one platform to engage your customers, to enable your employees, to optimize your processes, and transform your business. In the first session of our Get to Know CRM Online five-part series, we discussed the value of customer experience. It is projected that by 2020, customer experience will outweigh price and product features as the most important product or business attribute. And we also learned from our initial session that CRM Online works in tandem with Office 365 and other related technologies like Power BI. It helps make your employees more cognizant of your clients and your customers' history. And creating that experience will help you win new customers and keep your existing customers happy and loyal. We, we discussed that 86% of your consumers are willing to pay more for a better cons customer experience. 65% of customers have left a brand due to a bad customer experience. Customer experience is what differentiates you. We also learned from our initial CRM, Get to Know CRM online overview session that implementing CRM doesn't have to be difficult. You can start with tools that your employees are already familiar with, like Outlook, Word, Excel, the Office tools. Uh, there's powerful tools that are available to help your team work more efficiently inside the CRM system. We have guided business process flows that are based on your best practices. We have an integrated module by Inside View that can help you gain intelligence that will provide introductions and turn cold calls into warm introductions. It'll help you get to know your customers better than your competitors. There's new features coming out all the time that 
such for example document generation it's easy to generate documents quotes on the fly it's easy to generate these documents uh, and they're powerful mechanisms to to gain that productivity getting insight out of your system with Excel reports you have to configure it once to format it the way you want and then you can save it as a template and you can always get the Excel uh, you can get the analytics that you're looking for if you're really good with Excel and you enjoy working with Excel those tools are going to be there for you all of these kind of tools document management collaboration seeing your customer internet interactions working on on tasks to make your administrative load less and make your salespeople more productive even when they're out of the office we have mobile capabilities the the office tools like Excel and Word are also available on the mobile they're available on tablets they're available on phones power powerful business intelligence is now available with Power BI all of these things we covered in our initial session of getting to know CRM online overview and there's the URL for that the sequence of our five-part webinar series is this uh, last time three weeks ago we did an overview today we're doing marketing automation so we can help you get more qualified leads in three weeks time we're going to do sales or automation so you can manage those leads the lead to opportunity process convert them to wins and then after you win new customers obviously you want to keep them happy so customer service case management we keep track of any particular issues that we might be having with customers and finally our fifth session is going to be social engagement with Microsoft social engagement and staying on top of brand sentiment taking care of any issues that might be out there before they become public relations problems and occasionally and hopefully optimistically looking to convert some of those tweets or posts into actual leads in your CRM system getting back to marketing automation uh, when we talk about the marketing system in the CRM system uh, out of the box we, we said that we have campaigns we have marketing lists and campaign activities those campaign activities are the the interactions that you're having with your prospects and customers so they could be direct mails they could be emails they could be phone calls there's also planning activities that go into a CRM system uh, that go into a campaign like budgeting and goal setting so this is how you begin to realize the value of, of ROI on any particular campaign um, there's there's a lot of activities as many people know who are, who are attending this call today marketing uh, and campaigns are, are not a simple thing there there's a lot of work that go into it there's a lot of tasks and the campaign entity in the CRM system is a place to keep track of all that stuff uh, but what we're not seeing completely out of the box in the CRM system is that uh, email marketing engine and also the analytics which are given these days they're more of a commodity and if you're not going to be providing the email marketing uh, and the analytics people are going to shop around and say where can I pick up the email marketing module and the, the analytics that I need enter click dimensions for Microsoft Dynamics CRM click dimensions is an add-on solution for CRM it's provided by a third part third party independent software vendor that is click dimensions it's a suite of modules that install directly in your CRM system as an integrated solution it has a number of advantages that we'll cover today the uh, foremost is that the data is coming right back into your CRM system alongside all your other data with built-in relationships that you can take advantage of so this one of the inherent powers of the CRM system is the relationships between entities and once you get to know one piece of data and it's related to the other piece of data you have all the information in the right place so you're not replicating data and have duplicate data so that helps you come up with one version of the truth in the past there were many competitors for email marketing solutions for CRM uh, most of those have dropped out of the game leaving really only click dimensions and Microsoft Dynamics marketing as the remaining viable contenders this presentation focuses on click dimensions uh, the Microsoft Dynamics marketing is a story for another day uh, I just wanted to make a note that while this presentation and this series is about CRM online the click dimensions works equally well with on-premise deployments as well as CRM online 
In general, uh, marketing automation is also known as nurture marketing or drip marketing. And Click Dimensions has a new module, it's fairly new, uh, called Campaign Automation Builder, which we'll be demoing today. There's also a legacy module in Click Dimensions known as Nurture Campaigns. We will not be demoing that today. The Campaign Automation Builder is the newer and more robust version of Nurture Campaigns. And also, the flagship product of Click Dimensions, or the feature that most people think about when they think about Click Dimensions, is their email marketing engine. So this is a really quick quiz. Um, what did we learn last time? 86% of customers are willing made to pay more for their cus uh, better customer experience. 65% of customers have left a brand due to bad customer service. Customer experience is what differentiates you. Implementing CRM doesn't have to be difficult. Start with the tools that your employees are already familiar with. And oh, by the way, if you're looking for a marketing automation system, the experts say that, oh, I got ahead of myself here. Actually, the one thing that we want you to learn from today's presentation is that businesses that use marketing automation to nurture prospects experience a 451% increase in qualified leads. Along with that statistic, there's all these other statistics that talk about marketing automation. We have a reference hyperlink there, so you can go and find the sources for, for all of these quotes. A lot of good statistics and why marketing automation is a good thing. So what is marketing automation, again, from a Click Dimensions perspective? It is sending a series of relevant and timely communications to prospects or customers over a period of time and these automated campaigns respond to the recipient's actions, thus creating a more personalized experience. A few more definitions. What marketing automation is not is sending the same old emails to the same leads, prospects, and customers over and over again. Uh, marketing automation is a type of software that empowers companies to manage, automate, and measure their marketing efforts so they can become more efficient and generate revenue faster. It's a multi-channel marketing approach that generates new opportunities and establishes nurturing customer relationships. You'll surely get amped up when you see all the magical things that marketing automation tools can do for you. But, there is a but. The it's actually not all magic. There's a lot of hard work that goes into building the campaigns, to conceptualizing, to brainstorming, and beyond the big picture, there's a lot of nitty gritty things that need to be accomplished associated with campaigns, and especially campaign automation. You have to have uh, some vision, some insight, you have to understand the data, you have to understand your strategy. The most effective way to build a campaign or marketing automation uh, campaign, say, as opposed to just talking about the system. You don't have to build the system. The system has, provides the tools. What you have to build and what you have to come up with is the strategy. So there could be any number of different strategies. So with campaigns, you can have nurture campaigns. You can have customer retention campaigns. You can have new customer onboarding prospect re-engagement, customer re-engagement, referral campaigns, incentives and reward type campaigns. But one thing in common is that 86% of marketers believe that ease of use is the most important criteria when choosing a marketing automation platform. We're definitely going to look at the campaign automation builder as part of our live demo today. And I think you'll agree that it is very intuitive and there's a lot of dragging and dropping and pointing and clicking. Uh, it, it's uh, Once you get good with it, it, which won't take very long at all, uh, you're going to be looking to build these campaigns fairly quickly again, but you can't just jump into it. You have to have a strategy because, of course, you know a, a tool in the wrong hands can be used badly. So it, it definitely comes down to a collaboration of marketing strategy between your marketing folks and your sales folks to kind of figure out what you want to accomplish, figure out what the, the touch points should be, figure out you know, how to better understand your customer. It's an, two important things come out over and over again. One is that it's an interactive process, and second is, um, uh, I forget what the second piece is. You want to have an interactive process with the marketing automation platform. I'm going to come back to that.
what do we do when we get started? Um, CRM online or CRM on-premise, they both work together with Click Dimensions. Um, Click Dimensions subscription, if you don't already have Click Dimensions, there's a, a promo going on right now. Uh, Joel is uh, the Click Dimensions partner account manager for both Syncrotech and Computer Solutions East. There's a hyperlink, you can send him an email. Um, of course, uh, just reach out to Joel and let us know. Uh, let him know that, that you heard about Click Dimensions from this webinar and uh, he'll be happy to assist you. Um, really, you just need to install then Click Dimensions and, and you'll be on your way. Again, you need to decide on the, the marketing automation strategy. Training is included with the Click Dimensions subscription, so you get pretty much all you can eat training. Also, a consultant can help you get started. Most Click Dimensions consultants are actually Microsoft Dynamics CRM consultants. So again, uh, Computer Solutions East or Syncrotech Solutions can help you with that. A lot of people want to know, well, how easy is it to generate email templates? Email templates are super simple. You know, they're, well, you know, you can have drag and drop email templates and you can have uh, building block type templates and you can have a freestyle template where you can work in a, in a tool that lets you see both the, what you see is what you get preview along in a, in a design view, plus you can also toggle between the design view and the HTML code. So, you know, depending on what level you're at with your HTML, you might be in the building block mode, you might be in the freestyle, or the fourth choice is to go straight HTML. Uh, targeted marketing lists, again, part of that strategy, you know, understanding the, the concept of, of marketing lists and, and subscription lists and how they all work together. Make sure you're on the latest version of Click Dimensions, the latest version that has most of the updates that you'll be interested in uh, for the Campaign Automation Builder came out recently in April of 2016 and it's version 8.0.2. Oh, let's see, uh, besides the textbook definitions, what else is in the box? What do you get out of the box with Click Dimensions? You get their flagship product, the robust email marketing engine. You get email templating tools. You get the email analytics, which as I mentioned is a commodity these days. Everybody expects it. The nice thing about the click dimensions is that the, those analytics and same as with the marketing lists, they're all right there in your CRM system. So the data is it's so integrated you won't even notice it's a separate system because it's built in. Subscription management. We're going to take a look at a, a couple, uh, well, one really good subscription management uh, example. Uh, web forms, we've, we can build web forms um, that, that, that bring leads into your system. The nice thing about web forms is that they also take that email and they look for any existing contacts that might already be in your system. And if it doesn't find an existing contact, it looks for an existing lead. If it doesn't find an existing lead, then it'll create either a contact or a lead depending on what you specify. Uh, again, the nice thing there is that you're not going to be creating duplicates in your system. Web analytics is huge. It's, it's built into click dimensions. You don't, a lot of people don't even realize that, but we're going to take a look at that today. We're going to start with that. The lead scoring goes along with the web analytics. You get points for, for clicking on links. You get also get points for visiting pages, and that helps you see which are the leads that could possibly be ready to buy. So all these things add up to automation, they're not specifically automation, but the campaign automation builder is, and it can start from a web form, it can start from a manual uh, you know, uh, action to say, I want to run this campaign for this lead or contact, uh, it can start from, uh, from uh, adding that lead or contact to a marketing list. And finally, Power BI is a, is a business intelligence for every man. Uh, it's a big push by Microsoft now. There's updates coming out every month for Power BI. It can do more and more. The, the power of the insights from Power BI, it's business intelligence. It's helping you make better decisions. It's helping you realize things about your data and about your operations that you wouldn't necessarily have thought of yourself. And it also provides ways to visualize the, the information that's, that's very granular in your data and summarize it 
and make it very presentable in a, a very powerful tool. So we're actually going to take a, a quick look at that as well. And did I miss anything with regard to what's included out of the box for Click Dimensions? Did I talk about text messaging? Did I talk about campaign tracking? Form capture, which is a, another feature that, that is very similar to, to web forms, but the form capture is a little bit different technology. It allows forms from other systems to be fed into your CRM system through Click Dimensions form capture. Uh, and then uh, you can also have multi-page forms, so you can go from one form to the next if it doesn't all fit on one form or if there's conditional logic. Surveys, it's always nice, again, to have that customer interaction with the, uh, you know, keeping, keeping track of, uh, you know, what your customer's preferences are and, and what their feedback is. Uh, again, lets them know that, that you're paying attention and that you're paying, you know, that you're uh, responsive and, and providing them with a customer experience that, that's going to keep them happy. Landing pages, I mentioned. Social discovery, again, another commodity item that everybody expects to have in their, in their uh, either CRM or, or marketing system these days. Event management integration, just really when folks are, if you tie it in together to one of these leading uh, event management solutions. Just lets you take all the people that have registered for those events and bring them right into the CRM system. So there's less administrative overhead and, and more time for doing other more productive things, so more efficiency. What's on the menus? So these are basically just how the menus are structured for the, the Click Dimensions part of the CRM system. There's a little bit of back office setup. Again, this is where a CRM consultant can help you, somebody who's familiar with uh, networking because there's some DNS records that need to be set up. Uh, I have a slight issue with uh, one of our DNS records right now. It's the SPF includes record. Um, we, we've tested it several times and it came back uh, passing the test and then uh, something happened this week when I was preparing for this demo and it, it was failing and we don't know why. Um, so, you know, we're investigating that, and I'll explain what some of the implications of not having the, some of these right DNS records is uh, for your email deliverability and for your branding. So, marketing lists are, I just got a few more slides, and I'm going to jump into the demo. Uh, the marketing lists, um, you know, you need to understand, have an understanding of how you want to segment your markets, your marketing lists. So these could be your customers, your prospects, your, your leads and your contacts. Uh, there's automation tools to add leads and contacts to marketing lists. And then marketing lists are associated with subscription lists, and this enables subscri subscription preferences. So every marketing list should be associated with a subscription list. And then each subscription list gives your leads or contacts, your customers or prospects, the opportunity to either opt in or opt out of that specific subscription. And then we always provide a means for a one-click unsubscribe. When it comes to the email send, this is you know where the rubber hits the road of an email marketing system. You need the capability to manage your marketing lists. So again, you managing your marketing list is built into the CRM system. There's no importing, exporting. That's the nice thing about having an integrated solution. The subject line is super important. Um, this is helping you know pe people say build your whole uh, uh, email or web page you know around your keywords or your subject line. So know what you're trying to accomplish when you're, when you're writing an email uh, for an email blast, same as if you were building a web page, so that you have a subject line that makes sense and it's going to attract the readers uh, or, or the people who are receiving the email to actually want to open the email and click and that you're actually sending that email or the people that are actually clicking on the, people are the, on the email are the ones that you want to click on the email because they're the ones that are most interested in that particular subject. Um, the preview, uh, the preheader is uh, it's a little bit subtle, but I'm just going to show you a real quick uh, example of uh, good preheaders in email marketing emails. So let me just tab out of here and click on my Outlook. I can find my inbox. So these are examples, and you probably can't read that, so let me try and maximize this. 
to control one and just browse around a little bit. So the second part here, the second part of the line is, uh, is the preview. So you see the C5 Insight, that's the second highlighted in blue, a little bit darker. It says, what do content marketing and SharePoint governance have in common? Answer, they're often unloved and utterly crucial to customer experience. Now, a lot of these other supposedly good email marketing examples miss the mark on a, a pre-header a pre line. So don't miss these two free webinars. Choose your own adventure. Is this email not displaying correctly? I'm like, do I really need to know? You know, put that right in the in the preheader. But here's some here's one. Uh, supercharge your small business sales team. Learn from the characteristics and secrets of top performing sales teams. So you might not think too much about the preheader text in your email line, but you are able to control it, and this is sometimes the difference between winning and losing in the email marketing game. What triggers a prospect to switch vendors? The answer is inside. This is sales and marketing tip number 283. So that's more attractive to me than, say, uh, this hyperlink up here that is really, I don't need to know what the hyperlink is. So let me go back and toggle. Ah. Let's go start from the beginning. Okay. Not really what I want. Oh, cool. All right. Um, so that was preheader text example. Uh, the from name uh, personalization is important in email marketing. So the from name, you know, who we're sending it to, and and kind of the familiarization, like dear first name. That's important, and also who you're sending it from is important. That's the sender. So in CRM and in Click Dimensions, you have the capability to say that this email is coming from the owner of the account or the contact or the lead record. So basically, the person who's receiving the record is receiving it from somebody that they're familiar with and somebody that they already trust, which is their account representative. When to send the email, an inbox preview mode, which shows you all the it shows you what that email is going to look like on all the different email clients. It's a really powerful feature. And A-B testing, which is super easy to use also. And A-B testing is a marketing methodology to decide for the subject line, the preheader, or the from name whether one email, marketing, uh, one email is better than another email in terms of its actual measure performance. Not a subjective thing about what you think, but actually what people are clicking on, which of the two, A or B, are people more likely to click on based on the history of what they actually just did. So I'll show you how that works. We're going to have, uh, say, a thousand emails on a list, a thousand names on an email list. It's going to go out, and based on the first 50, I might just say 25 people get email A and 25 people get email B, and then the rest will get the email where, which is the winning strategy, which is based on whether more people clicked in email with subject line A, say, for example, or subject line B. You can even substitute whole different email templates altogether. So you can have a completely different email template A or B. <laughs> if you, say, for example, wanted to test out two different uh, web designers and say, hey, go or two different marketers and say, you know, have a contest. We're going to have you guys design one template and you design the other template. We're going to send them both out. Whichever one gets more clicks, that's who we're going to send the rest of the emails to. Analytics. Uh, we're going to start out looking at analytics. Email events. They track the, the deliveries, opens, bounces. I'm just going to speed up because I know I'm running a little bit behind. This is another way of looking at the analytics uh, of an email uh, send. So these are opens and um, or deliveries and opens in the two biggest sectors. We can also see who clicked on what through a heat map. So that's a, a real quick analytic that you can get with every email send. Uh, the percentage of the total clicks are highlighted. Again, the click dimensions is a, a way to uh, bring your data into a powerful analytics tool. This is an example of a great 
subscription preferences page. So first they're asking you for profile information. And then they're asking you which newsletters are you most interested in. So which ones do you want to subscribe to? You guys have all seen this before, but conceptually it's important for marketers to understand you know, this kind of personalization. Uh, it's a real nice example. It's formatting very well. And there's lots of choices. Then they ask you a whole bunch more information. You can do something similar to this also with a profile update in the CRM system. You can also send text messages to your marketing list. Of course, they're a lot easier because uh, you don't have to worry about creating a, an email template for a text message. It's just text. This is where we're going to start our demo. So if you guys can see this hyperlink here, I don't know if you can click on that directly from where you're at, but this is part of our demo. It's interactive. Um, so what you can do is fill out our Contact Us page and click on one of the check boxes. I can assure you that as of right now, there is not a requirement to click on one of the check boxes, but we could add some JavaScript to say, you need to either click on one of these check boxes or you need to click other, and then we can pop up a text box that says other or make that uh, other field that might, or the, the field, that, the text field that might already be there, just make it required. Um, you can add, Java, the point is you can add JavaScript to your forms. You can also add other integrations, like you can get a address express entry from Melissa Data so that when people fill out a form, they always have the, the most, well, you, you have a validated address and it types ahead so that if you start entering an address, it will finish entering it for you. Um, what's going to happen with this uh, link? If you can't find it, uh, I'll go ahead and post it to, uh, just click on this. I'll post it to the, um, to the chat window. Okay, let me do that. Chat, where's chat? Over here. Type message here to entire audience. So if you guys want to participate, you don't have to, um, but it's, uh, it's an interactive thing. Let's see if I can find my way back to the slide presentation here. Ah, a five maybe. Okay, so all this is going to do is add you to a marketing list. Uh, depending on which checkbox you checked on. It's just an example of the interactive nature of the, of the uh, campaign automation. It's going to assign you, depending on whether you're already in our system with that email address, as a, as a lead or a contact record to the appropriate uh, account manager. So as I said, it'll assign you to a marketing list, add you to a marketing list, assign you to uh, an account manager, uh, and send you a welcome email, and then uh, It'll wait for you to interact with that welcome email. And if you don't get the email right away, just do check your junk mail. I had an experience uh, that I mentioned with my SPF DNS records not being, uh, not working properly this week, which uh, we're, we're investigating, and it seems to be an intermittent problem with my DNS hosting provider. So we're having some discussions with them, and we might possibly be switching providers because of uh, poor customer experience. Uh, this is the real contact us. Um, Victor or myself from Computer Solutions East. We're, we're both CRM consultants. Um, Computer Solutions East in New York, Syncrotec Solutions in the Philadelphia area. Give us a call. And we have some upcoming webinars in the same series, getting to know sales automation, getting to know customer service, and getting to know social engagement. That ends the slideshow presentation. And we're going to go to the demo part of the presentation. And I'm seeing a little bit behind schedule here. So I'm going to try and move quickly through this. I'm going to go to when I'm working on a campaign, I'm going to start out in the campaign mode. And I'm going to look at all the things I can do with my campaign, like budgeting, tracking, adding marketing lists. I'm also adding. Uh, I'm adding web content, so within the Click Dimensions product, I can add that Contact Us form. I can add a landing page. I can add a marketing automation. So that's uh, one of the things we're going to be looking at very soon. Um, 
and, and it brings it all together inside the campaign. And when I'm building a campaign, I'm, I'm working with the sales and marketing people, or I am the sales and marketing person. I'm working with the click dimensions. I'm trying to come up with a strategy. And when I'm trying to come up with a strategy for a campaign, I want to look and see what worked previously. So I want to look what worked, what didn't work, for example. Um, I'm going to look at I'm not going to look at the web. I'm going to look at our e prior email blasts. Uh, I'm going to look at our search engine optimization. I'm going to look at our keyword strategy, page optimization, calls to action. Uh, so a lot of these things, believe it or not, are built right into your CRM system now after you install Click Dimensions. So I'm going to go to marketing, and I'm going to go to email marketing. I'm going to look at email events. And this just gives me a quick view of what's been happening in the past. I'm going to I'm going to see uh what type of activities we have here with clicks. So I can see different people that have clicked through on our email. Let's see what else. Filter link attendee. I'm not sure what I was trying to say there. Okay, so let me go to visits, marketing, and visits. Oh yeah, I know what I was going to do there. Let me just go back. This is pretty cool. So actually I can click on the link and say just not only who clicked, but who actually is an attendee. So I can filter that and say custom filter and not just contains data, but contains the word attendee. So that means they clicked on attendee link. So there I have, you know, these nice folks were friendly enough to click on our uh, registration link to attend this go to webinar session. Um, so again, it's just giving you some insight what's happening with your audience, who's who's being responsive, who's interacting. Uh, then the next thing I want to click on is analytics and visits. So you put a tracking token on your website and, and you start to gather all this information. You can see active visits. And if, again, I can use the filter. And I might want to know who's coming at us based on the email. So again, this is giving my, my sales and my marketing people knowledge and information based on the fact that you know, these are the results that we've had in the past. And I can see the, I can see some anonymous visitors here. I can see how long they were on the website. We give them a lead score, even though they're an anonymous visitor. We see how many times they clicked on a page. I can also see if it was their first visit. It's just another filter. And I can also then do a keyword search, and this helps with my search engine, search engine optimization or page optimization, search, you know, page optimization. Um, I can see just browsing down here that people were searching for Syncrotech solutions, or I can tell like where people were coming in from. Uh, there's Microsoft in Singapore. There's another Microsoft was searching for Syncrotech. Another Microsoft was searching for Syncrotech. That's usually a good sign for a Microsoft partner when the folks from uh, Microsoft are checking out your website. Hopefully your website's up to snuff so they get the stamp of approval. Uh, so there's a lot of interesting things. Like if I found something here that said uh, Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Office 365 productivity uh, working better together or something like that. I, and I only saw one page view because I can see here how many page views. Then I would know that, you know, maybe that page needs to be optimized. Maybe there needs to be a call to action on that page. Uh, because if they're only clicking on one page and then leaving, that's not good. Um, so let's look. At, this was visits. So let's look quickly at page views. And in page views, I'm looking at the title of the page that they're visiting. And I'm looking again to see uh, if I can see if any leads have been visiting my website. 
just contains data. There's a lot of testing happening this week. I'd also like to look at anonymous visitors. That's another view. It's actually another entity. So with anonymous visitors, I'm really just looking to see, you know, kind of where they're coming in from and 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 you know how many page views. And I want to show you that, you know, when somebody's visiting the website, I might be able to I might be able to tell if somebody's right on my doorstep. Here's a local anonymous visitors view. And I have um, I have it narrowed down pretty good, so this is definitely right outside my door. And if I go to this contact us form myself, and I just kind of click around a little bit, and I come back to, I can see that these analytics are tracking in the system right away. Usually I can see it right away. In the meantime, what I can do is, I just want to see if I can see the, um, okay, I'm not seeing the lead score go up, but basically, usually every time they click on a page, the, the lead score will go up by one, so I'm a little bit interested there to see what's happening with that. Um, but I'm going to fill out the form and see what happens, because I should be able to see an anonymous visitor turn into an actual visitor. So if somehow this uh, visitor isn't is already in the system, then it's not going to show up as an anonymous visitor. So it won't have the same demo effect. Let's try one more time. Uh, let's just try this. Okay, well, I'm going to carry on, and I'm going to fill out the contact us form. And hopefully some of you guys also filled this out. So we'll see some information come through. So Julian, I at MSP, grab that. MSP 492 486. I do not remember that. So this person is interested in CRM. So I'm going to click on one of the CRM checkboxes. And we're going to not going to be anonymous visitors anymore, but they're going to be visits or page views. You probably could have seen that here. Okay, so I think Julian might have already been in the system, which is why he didn't show up as a, an anonymous visitor. But if he would have been an anonymous visitor, the point of that was to sh uh, convert the um, uh, convert the lead to uh, to convert the anonymous lead to an actual lead, anonymous visitor to an actual lead. So now that we have Julian on our radar, he submitted a form. I can see uh, posted forms. I can see that he's posted a form. I can also see. Uh, any other activity that's been associated with him, for example, let's go to the campaign builder. And we should actually, he should have been, oh, I don't know what I was going to show you there. I was going to show you that, you know, he's new on our list here, but somehow he came up on our marketing list. So how did he get added to the marketing list? Well, that little bit of magic is coming at you courtesy of the campaign automation builder.
So this is a this is the canvas of the of the campaign. So it looks a lot like Visio. You know, you have drag and drop. You have these different flow chart type items, and and you can see that we have uh, a logic. So we have an entry point here. So we have the contact us form. Then we have a, a decision point where it's sending us down the the CRM path or the Office 365 path, and then depending on which link they clicked on, select which links. In this case, they're clicking on the I am interested in CRM link. In this case, they're clicking in the I have a future need for CRM link. Please keep me on your list. And depending on what they click on when they receive that email, they're going to go down these paths where we have additional actions that say I have an immediate need for CRM or it's actually the, the path is called immediate interest in CRM. And the path here should be called something like future interest in CRM in which case we put a task to follow up with the prospect in about three weeks. The, the initial path that they go down does a couple of things. Depending on whether they're uh, a lead that's already existing in our system, we're going to add them uh, to the leads marketing list for CRM. Uh, if they are already a contact in our system, Actually, it's the opposite. If they're already a contact in our system, they get added to the contacts list. Um, if they're not already a contact in the system, we look to see if they're an existing lead or create a brand new lead for them. And basically just add them to that marketing list. Then we assign them to the sales rep that's associate, that's responsible for CRM. And then we send them that welcome email. And the welcome email comes from the email template that says demo CRM email and it has those links in there uh, that, that gives them a choice to say whether they have an immediate need for CRM or a future need. We can see how many people went through either of these paths. And we can see that a few of you folks did go ahead and click on the link here, so very, very nice of you. Um, and if you didn't get the email, I'm gonna I'm gonna be Julian for a minute. I'm, let me just click on his. This tells me exactly where he is in the process. So he's he's at a decision point now. We don't know whether he's clicking on this link or that link yet because he hasn't clicked on the link yet. Let's actually see if he got the email. And because of the DNS problem that we've been having, I was not able to put. The, uh, the right domain name, uh, which would help us pass through any spam filters. So it went to junk mail, so do check your junk mail. We, we're, we're aware of that problem, and uh, it will be resolved soon. Um, <clears throat> so here I'm going to just open up this email. And I'm going to unblock it. And I'm going to say I have uh, I'm interested in CRM. I clicked on the link. That's all I really need to do. And then we should have an update to our CRM. Oops back that too far. So it hasn't quite registered yet. It usually takes a few minutes. So while I'm waiting for that, I just want to show you what an email send looks like from the CRM system. And anything else that I may have missed in the last uh, the last five or ten minutes here. So we talked about the campaign builder. Um, the the email template is is where you're going to start building out your your CRM email blasts. So we have a bunch of email templates. We have different styles: drag and drop, block editor. The CRM welcome email is a super simple drag and drop. 
it's got a graphic and some, it's got some personalization that says dear first name, thanks for reaching out, and it's got the two links, I am, I have an immediate interest for CRM and I have a future interest for CRM. Again, we would always, always provide the, uh, always provide the unsubscribe link at the bottom of any email, the email templates that we're creating. So if you were going to do an email blast, you wouldn't be an email templates. Actually, you, you can reuse email templates as many as you want, but email sends are really kind of a one-off thing. You need to create a new email send every time you're going to do kind of a major blast. So I've got one started off here. I just want to show you some of the things we've talked about. The subject line, the pre-header, uh, the first thing I do is I select the email template and then that will populate the subject line and the pre-header just based on that default. And I can customize the, the pre-header like I showed you some examples. It's associated with a particular campaign. The from personalization is sometimes just as important as the, as the, the to. And I can say it's going to come from the record owner inside the CRM system or not. I can send it whenever I want to send it. I can send it immediately or I can send it tomorrow morning at 7.30. I have all these various test and demo marketing lists. So these are not the people, these are the marketing lists. And each marketing list is either associated with leads or contacts. I can see which, you know, get a quick visualization of the email that's going out. If I open up the email, I can do an inbox preview. And this will show me everybody that, uh, this will show me what the Outlook client looks like. This is going to show me what the email is going to look like in the inbox for all the different Outlook clients. So while that's loading, let me come back to that in a minute. I'm just going to show you one thing here. Uh, in order to optimize sales and marketing, we want to make them run more efficiently. And if you're a sales guy, you know, you might not want to deal with email templates, blah, blah, blah. It's like, I just want to do an email blast. So let me go to the CRM leads that have just come in from this demo. So let me find that demo marketing list. Demo. Search. I'm going to look for CRM, I'm going to go CRM contacts. And I'm going to click on inbox cast. I'm going to grab that URL, oh, and copy it, I'm going to get out of there. So this enables your email folks, your, your, your sales folks to just create a real quick email and I'm going to send it to that URL, I'm going to say Thanks for attending the marketing automation demo. And I'm just going to say, have a great weekend. And it's just a real simple thing that, you know, enables me to keep in touch with an email blast that's not really an email blast. It's just, it's almost like just a personalized email because it is. I know who I'm sending it to because I have I have the uh, the marketing list, and basically what that's going to do, it's going to I'm going to get back out of marketing lists and go back to email sends. So while we're doing that, we're waiting for. This is what it looks like in Apple Live, Lotus Notes, Outlook 20, 2003, Outlook 2007, Outlook 2010, Outlook 2011, Outlook 2013. Thunderbird, iPad mini, iPad retina, iPhone 5S, iPhone 6. It's going to look great in all of them because the design of the CRM system, uh, the click dimensions, is always going to make it a responsive design. This one doesn't actually show it quite true to, unfortunately, uh, as being responsive, but these um, are always going to end up being responsive. And you can you can check it out if you receive a, an email from me and, and write back and tell us whether it's responsive or not. Um, while we're waiting for that, we can do a refresh here.
and we see that Julian clicked on the yes, I'm immediately interested in the CRM. So what that also then should have done, let's see if we can find our way back here. Okay, so I'm doing three things at once. Um, let me go to email sends and refresh that. Okay, so this is the email send. Now I should have gotten an email back in my inbox that says go ahead and send it. I kind of configured my inbox in a funky way here to show you those uh, to show you those um, preheaders. But here's actually the email. So let me just go ahead and open this one. And I'm going to go ahead and hit send. So you guys are actually going to get an email if you. logging me out of CRM for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a, a security thing, like a two-factor authentication to make sure that if you're sending an email blast that way, that, that you're actually uh, the person who's sending it. So once I'm there, I haven't actually tested this. Let me just hit refresh. And I think, all right, email sends drafts. So it's still a draft. Uh, I think the only thing I do need to do is just log in and hit send. So this then treats it like a typical send. You get a, it's just saying it's going to go out to three recipients, and that's how a typical email send works. So one last thing with sends, and then I think we're just going to be out of time, is that this uh, this one that I already created, I'm going to do an A-B split test on it. And I can just change the change the subject line from demo to test and, and say, what percentage of people I want to get strategy A versus strategy B. So I have three people getting strategy A and then 26 people, oh, three people are getting strategy A, three people are getting strategy B, and then 26 people are going to get the email that has a higher unique open rate. So I can send it from here or, or not. I think I think you guys got enough emails from me already, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna send any more today. Um, let's see, did I cover? Uh, I covered uh, sending text messages. Oh, I didn't cover Power BI. So here's Power BI. This is uh, app.powerbi.com, and it's providing us with. Uh, this is the insights. So basically, I have a dashboard, and then I can, you know, drill down on the dashboard. Uh, this is actually looking at, at website visits. So this is using the web analytics data, showing me the people that are visiting my website, where they're coming from. I think that's Microsoft right there. And I can also do analytics. So I can look at my data set, and I can say quick insights and it's it's going to analyze all my data and tell me things about my data that I may not have already re realized. So this is a uh, uh, it's going to give me outliers, it's going to give me correlations, uh, it's going to give me some some distinct data that I wouldn't have realized and some of it's pretty obvious, but it's just showing you that the, the power of, of Power BI, you know, you can work with Power BI and you can develop your own relationships, your own data sets, your own analytics, and basically you're going to be able to drill down and, and see insights into the data that you couldn't previously have, have realized without these kind of tools. So one last thing to look at uh, with with um, marketing, and actually I'm going to go to my recently viewed records. I'm going to click on Julian. 
and I'm going to look at the email events for Julian, and I'm going to just see if there's any associated tasks for him. I don't show the task there, um, but I do know that that um, Sean or Jerry, who would be the person who is responsible now for talking to Julian, has a task in their in their um, in their queue to to give Julian a call at some point, depending on you know what we instructed during the course of the uh, marketing automation. Um, you know, to keep in touch with them according to their preferences. So that that all goes into the the customer interactive experience. So it's automated, it's interactive, uh, it's respecting the, the 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 privacy or the the wishes, the preferences of of the prospects and your existing customers. And the the marketing automation strategy is only limited by your imagination. Uh, whether it's nurture campaigns or customer retention campaigns or customer onboarding, whatever you can come up with, uh, this the solution is here to uh, to help you out with that. Hope you all appreciate. It. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, presentation today, and hope you have a great weekend. And hope to see you again in three weeks' time.